Okay, so we're going to do some battling today. Our player will be pitted against our um, enemy that we will be creating. So we're going to go into database and we are going to go over to enemies and we're going to make our first enemy. So what I want you to do is right on along the side at the very bottom on the left, it says change maximum. We're going to make it 33. And we're going to say OK. And then we're going to go ahead and click on him and rename this Air Spirit. I am not going to play with this stuff too much at all. Um, if at the very end of this, if we have time to play with this, we will. But right. So, Air Spirit, we're going to do battle graphic. Uh, let's see. I think it's in the 50s, maybe. No. 60s. Aha. 65. Beast 3. The Griffin. That's our air spirit. So there he is, all pretty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say he gives you, let's see, what's the lowest in this one? Ghost has two experience points. Wow, that's really low. Um, how about. Yeah, sure. You know what? We'll just go with five. I feel like five is a good number. You get five experience points for beating him. And for gold, you get ten gold pieces. And um, I think that's all we're going to change for him right now. So you're going to say apply. So our air spirit has five experience points, gives out ten gold when you beat him. It's called air spirit. Then you're going to go to troops. You're going to change the maximum again. So all the way at the bottom of the left, change maximum. We're going to say 33. OK. Click on 33. <clears throat> We're going to call this Troop Air Spirit. You're going to go over here. This is where all this is where all the enemies are. This is your Air Spirit. We're going to click this little arrow to add him there. And you've done it. So we're going to say apply. And you know what? We'll change maximum. We'll do one more right now while we're in here. We'll go to 34 maximum now. And we'll do air spirit. Oops. And just like they did up there, we'll, uh, we'll do the little asterisk too. And then we'll add two air spirits for when we want to make it a little more difficult. And we will say OK. OK, we are going to be moving right along. Remember, I just want everyone to keep in mind that we are making a, the skeleton of a game. You're going to have to add extra elements to make this super awesome special. But I will try to, my best to help you with when we meet on Zoom on Thursdays, okay? So if this is not coming together how you had hoped, we can get it there. This is just the skeleton. All right, that being said, let's make a new map. So. Go down here and we're going to do this. We're going to uh, right click new map. Um, we'll call this forest. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and do something different. I'll say forest. I'm going to go ahead and keep the, the width and everything the same. Or, you know, what? for fun so that you guys can see that you can change this. I'm going to change it to make it bigger. If you want to change the um, BGM, you can. This is where you do it. And if you um, want to, well, we will get to this later. So let's just leave this later. But in case you're wondering what this is, this is for if you uh, want random encounters or, in other words, random battles to pop out um, so that you will just get attacked at random. You would add the average steps that your character needs to take to get attacked, and then you would add what creatures are going to attack them in here. We're not going to do that just yet. I think that's the one after next, maybe. All right, anyways, we're going to say OK. All right, in our forest, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get some grass. I'm going to go down to my first layer. I'm going to put down some grass. And then I am going to go and change to my pencil. I'm going to still stay in my first layer. And I am going to, I think this is the one I want. Yes, I'm going to make like a little path through all this. I 
I love auto tiles. They make life so much easier. And I just recently downloaded the new, well, newer version of this, um, RPG MV, and oh my gosh, the graphics are gorgeous on that one. Go away. Um, so if you ever, if you really like this, you can go and you can buy, not with, don't use the library's account because then you won't be able to have it, but if you want to make your account and buy, purchase these items, they aren't that expensive, and especially if you wait for sales, you can get this particular game maker for as low as, it's below $4. I think it's like $3.99 or something. So I personally think it's worth it. Um, all right, let's see. What else can we add to this to make this pretty? I'll actually make a map with you guys for once. I'm going to put this tree over here. I'm on my second layer when I'm doing this. I'm not going to go too nuts, but I'll at least add some trees. What else? What other wonderful things we have in here? Some bushes. Sure. Or flowers, I guess that's what those are. And some of this stuff. Falling off the trees. And yeah, that's good. Alright. You can add as much as you want to this. That's that's the extent of what I'm doing today. Alright, we're gonna go to events. We are going to make our first battle. And what we are going to do is we're gonna make a creature right, I don't know, we're going to do it here. And we're going to double click here and we're going to find our character and I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it so you're going to have to bear with me. I think it's in Beasts. Yes, this guy, the griffin. Number 65. You can make it whatever you would like but that's who I want to use. And then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to change it for his movement to approach. We're going to do it fastest, highest, because we want this guy to be able to catch our player. Remember when I talked about before the triggers down here and I said event touch? That's what we're going to hit today. This guy is going to touch your player and start a fight. So I think that's good. All right. And when that happens, we're going to show some text that says, oh no, and then we're going to do some battle processing. So insert. So we're going to go to, which number is it? Battle processing. Number three is battle processing. And we're going to have this fight break out between our player and the air spirit. You can click can escape if you want him to be able, you want your your player to be able to say that you can run away from a fight. You can click that and check it off. Um, and you can check off continue even when loser. So in other words, if your player fails against him, he can keep playing the game. Right now, without these clicked, that means that if they are attacked, they can't run away. They have to fight it to the end and that it will be game over if they die. And we're going to say okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is turn on a self switch so that when this is all done, that griffin disappears. So control self, uh, control self switch A. Okay. Hi, Kyra. And then new page, self switch A needs to be on. Let's make sure that this is on new event touch, move animation, approach. Yes, everything looks good. This should work. So we're going to say OK. That is the only thing I think that we are doing on this page. It is. So this map is done, except for, wait a minute, we have to do a transfer. Because how is your character going to get off this page? They need to get to here. So let's go ahead and go to our field, and let's decide that this corner is where you go to leave. We're going to double click in, well first off, we're going to change this. You want it to be player touch, so when they walk over it, they move. Double click in here, go to transfer player, which is on command page two. Click this so that we can choose. We're going to go in the forest, and I want them to spawn all the way up into the left corner right here. Okay. Okay. And okay. 
Now, so that people can figure out that this is where they get out, I'm going to go ahead and just put down some, uh, on the first layer here, a road. There. That way people would know to go there. Otherwise, they'd be very confused and have to go all over the place trying to figure out how you get off this map. Just makes life easier. Okay, I think we're done. Let's go ahead and play this all the way through again. Yay. And I'm going to show you how you can save it so that you don't have to watch your whole entire uh, game every time you need to test something. So as you saw, our uh, character is super strong and our enemy was way too weak, so we killed them with literally one strike. But you get the idea, and like I said, those are all things that can be changed, so not a big deal. So that's it for today. I'll see you next time.